The opening day of the competition, accompanied by all the regular hope and expectation. The entrants start together on the same line. Everybody has nothing. Previous editions of this competition have provided so much drama down the years. So much romance as well. This year's vintage will no doubt do the same. You can sense that extra spring expectancy in everybody's step. Even those of the officials. So let us hope that it lives up to billing. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. We stand for the national anthem of Poland. So the teams are ready to go as we all bask just for a moment in that special feel-good factor. We tend only to get on days like this. Well, cup competitions have been getting a, a raw deal because of downgraded importance, but these games still offer a, a hold-your-breath ordeal that can be as good as anything out there. Just listen to the sense of anticipation here. What an atmosphere. This sounds important. This sounds as if it matters. So it's away we go then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Robert Lewandowski. He's just about the perfect all-round striker. Not least because he can finish equally well with both feet, Peter. It's not all about his finishing, though. He's always on the shoulder, looking for that ball in behind. And that prevents the opposition defence from getting too high or indeed getting too comfortable. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. A really good feat. Brzezinski looking to run onto it. Repelled by the keeper. Brzezinski. Brzezinski tries looking up for options on the left. It's bounced out! On the side that time. So it is still nil-nil. A really good feat from him. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Done very well to intervene. Zielinski, over to the left. No goals as yet. Tries to get it forward quickly. That's a quick glance. Oh, that's nice. Zielinski. Klich. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Looking for a decent ball in. 
could be a big chance! And that's it for the first half, a breathless ending. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. It's the first half compared with your expectations. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. All goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And we're already back on the way here. Poland can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Oh, shooting chance! very much in that not far away from being a telling final ball look the game is full of ifs and buts if only the the pass could have completed its journey very little to report from an attacking perspective Jim it's a cagey old game well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. And it's got through. Danger averted for now. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. Being played forward. Uh, good challenge, stood up well against his man. Brzezinski did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Well weighted. Lewandowski. Great strength on the ball. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And it's a corner. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been vibrant, I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant, and we just need the scoreline to step into line. 90 minutes, couldn't produce a winner, and we have extra time. 90 minutes gone, and nothing between them still. And it's Brzezinski. A oh, nice touch. Whipped in. Poland really have struggled with their service into the box. It's been aimless and ugly. And it's played forward. Here it comes. They're 
were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. We've reached the midway point in extra time. And we're starting to feel as though there is an inevitability about penalties here. We have to think that both teams still want to win it in the final 15 minutes. The question is, can the players go that far? Is there to be drama in these final 15 minutes? It's been cagey for this long. Will the last 15 minutes be any different? In comes the cross. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Danger here. Good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. That's it, nothing to separate them, it is penalties. Yeah, I think both defences will receive the plaudits for respective clean sheets, but the players have run and worked to the point of exhaustion, so nobody will be questioning their appetite to, to get it won. So it comes down to this, a final rallying cry, and then kicks from the spot. Boy, you can feel the tension. Lewandowski steps up to take the first one. Oh, what a save! Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and makes such a great save. The keeper's gone the wrong way. Looks like he's done it a thousand times. Never looked like missing. Poland trailing by one. Saved. Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. Finland looking to extend their advantage. Oh, good take. Keeper committed himself. And the lead is two. Poland trailing by two now. Good penalty. Just steered it the other way. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he gets wrong. Finland with the chance to go two up. And they're two up. Poland have to score or they have had it. It's saved and it's over. Poland out at the first hurdle. Hugely disappointing to fall so soon. Your thoughts on today's game, then, Jim? It's actually difficult, Peter, to determine exactly what went wrong. The teamwork and spirit just didn't seem to be right.